Right, hey guys, welcome to tutorial 3, staggering by blocks in increments and easy. So just like sequencing, staggering is really easy. We select our eight layers, come over to stagger random, we'll say, uh, let's say 5, 5 frames, and we want to stagger inside each block, so we'll keep this checked and click move. And what it's going to do is it's going to stagger each layer inside each block 5 frames, and if we wanted to now actually stagger each block, uh, we can uncheck inside block, check outside block, click move, and there what it's done is it's staggered each block by frames as well. Maybe that's a little bit difficult to see because they're already staggered. So if we just restart it again and click move there, then you can see it's now uh, it, it has uh, staggered each block uh, by frames. Okay, and if we just make all these the same color for now, Make these yellow. We just have to limit ourselves to one, one value. So stagger in a frame of two, then ten. And let's say box size is two. If we click move, zoom out. What it's done is it's split them to blocks of two. When the first block it has staggered, uh, uh, or the second block it's moved uh, two frames. When the third block it's moved ten. And then we go back to 2 again, and then 10, and then 2, and so on. Or we could just, if we just wanted to do them one block at a time, we could even say like 2 frames, and then by 15 frames, or we could say by, do by 5 frames, and then 15 frames, and click move, and zoom out, and there you can see, again, 5 frames, and 15 frames, 5 frames, 15 frames, and it's just going to keep looping through these until it runs out of layers. And as I mentioned before in the first tutorial, we don't have to limit ourselves to whole frames. So you could say like 0 0.5, and then maybe 1, and then maybe like 0 0.33. Uh, and we move, and if we zoom in, you can see uh, it's moved it half a frame. And then a whole frame, and then like a third, a third of a frame, which is here, and then it just keeps leaping through. So now you can get some really, really accurate staggering, um, very precise, very quickly, and you don't just have to limit yourself to one block. Uh, you could say you know, blocks of three, and it's going to do, it's going to do this the same, the same there as well. Okay. Uh, so that is staggering, uh, in staggering by blocks in increments, and now now moving on to easing. If we were to select easing, stagger random changes to ease duration, and let's say we want to do an ease of 25 frames, do it across all the blocks, and if we select, let's drag these up, and we want to affect inside the block because it is uh, one big block, so I'll uncheck that for now. And we'll click move and we'll zoom out. There you can see it has eased all the layers inside the blocks, uh, inside the block across a duration of 25 frames. And if you were to drag it the other way, it would go, it would go like that. So that's how you do your easing. Um, okay, and then we've got, and then we can go like that as well. These are like the most extreme easers. And if we just check, go into the settings and check round to nearest time. And let's go, we'll do, go all this way again. And you can see if we zoom in now, each each layer starts actually on a whole frame. So you can see all these very last few layers, they all really start at the same time. I personally prefer it when it's way more precise. So if you click move now, you can see it just looks a lot more smoother. The option's there if you need it, maybe you need to actually start on a whole frame for a specific reason. So the option's there for you. Next is being able to ease in groups. So if we, let's say, just make these red, and we want to ease inside the blocks, if we were to select these two now, let's just separate them via label color, and click move. What it's going to do is it's going to add easing in each block. So if you're animating like various icons or Parts of scenery or something, and you want them to have the same, the same sort of ease. This is a really quickly way. This is a real quick way of just applying some cool staggering effects.
across multiple layers uh, really quickly. And this is, if you just select all these, duplicate, you can literally just go on and it will just, it will do it as, for, as mi for as many blocks as you've got. It will, it will do that. Just bring this back down again. Now it's staggering outside block. So if I select all these layers, let's just make them yellow again. And uh, all we want to do is uh, do outside the block. So outside the blocks, let's just put them in block sizes of two and click move. There, what it's done is it's actually, it's split the layers into blocks and uh, it's eased, eased the blocks uh, in relation to one another, depending on the direction that you selected them. There's one more thing that I want to show you as well. So let's just select these, copy paste those, and let's move this up for a second. Now there's another feature called um, merge blocks, merge colored blocks. So if I select, uh, if I check merge colored blocks, and uh, I come back, I select all my layers, and we want to affect inside the blocks. If I click merge now. What it's going to do is it's going to take these colored label. It's going to take these blocks and it's going to see. Okay, this is a this is a block of this is a block of yellow. This is a block of yellow, and it's going to make one. And it's going to make one block from it, even though they're not together. So and uh, so then when I've added my E's, it's actually done it as if they were together. So if I was to move that there, that would be that would be seamless. So this works really well if you've got items or layers that you want to be part of the same block family that you might want to ease or stagger together, but they can't be, but for some reason they're not together in the timeline. Um, and so the merge, the merge colored blocks uh, works really well for that. Um, so that's the end of uh, tutorial three. Stagger blocks and increments and easing. Uh, check out tutorial 4 for stagger blocks based on position.